Homeschooling is a rewarding experience, but it can also be challenging and overwhelming at times. As homeschooling parents, we often pour our energy into creating lesson plans, facilitating learning, and ensuring that our children's needs are met. In the process, it's easy to overlook our own mental and emotional well-being. However, self-care is essential for maintaining balance, reducing stress, and sustaining the energy needed to homeschool effectively. This article highlights the importance of self-care for homeschooling parents and offers practical tips to help you maintain your mental and emotional well-being. Why self-care is essential for homeschooling parents. Homeschooling requires significant emotional, mental, and physical energy. Without regular self-care, homeschooling parents can quickly experience burnout, stress, and fatigue, which can negatively impact both their own well-being and their ability to support their children's learning. Here's why self-care is vital. Mental clarity. Taking time for yourself helps clear your mind, making it easier to focus on teaching and planning lessons. Regular breaks can refresh your perspective and help you manage your homeschooling responsibilities more effectively. Emotional stability. Self-care provides an emotional reset. When parents take care of their emotional needs, they are better equipped to handle the ups and downs of homeschooling and parenthood with patience and resilience. Physical health. Stress and fatigue can take a toll on your physical health, affecting sleep, energy levels, and immunity. Practicing self-care helps you maintain your health, allowing you to keep up with the demands of homeschooling. Role modeling. By prioritizing self-care, you model the importance of balance and well-being to your children. They learn that it's okay to take breaks, prioritize rest, and nurture their own mental health. Common challenges to self-care for homeschooling parents. While the benefits of self-care are clear, homeschooling parents often face barriers that make it difficult to practice regular self-care. Some common challenges include guilt. Many parents feel guilty about taking time for themselves, believing that every moment should be spent focused on their children's education. Time constraints, homeschooling combined with household responsibilities can leave little time for personal activities or relaxation. Isolation. Homeschooling can sometimes feel isolating, especially if you don't have a strong support system in place. Overwhelm juggling multiple roles, teacher, parent, and homemaker, can lead to feelings of overwhelm, making it hard to carve out time for self-care. Understanding these challenges is the first step toward overcoming them. Below are some practical strategies to help you make self-care a priority, even within a busy homeschooling schedule. Practical self-care tips for homeschooling parents. Create time for yourself. One of the biggest obstacles to self-care is time. However, finding even small pockets of time throughout the day can make a big difference. Here are some ideas. Consider waking up 30 minutes before your children to enjoy some quiet time. Use this time for activities that nurture you, such as reading, journaling, or enjoying a cup of coffee in peace. Schedule short breaks during your homeschooling day, whether it's a 15-minute break while your children are engaged in independent study or a quick walk after lunch. These moments of respite can refresh your mind. If possible, delegate tasks like household chores or even parts of your homeschool routine. Sharing the load frees up time for self-care and reduces burnout. Set boundaries. Setting boundaries is essential for maintaining a healthy balance between homeschooling and personal life. Without boundaries, homeschooling can easily spill into every part of your day, leaving little room for relaxation or self-care. Set specific hours for homeschooling and stick to them as much as possible. When school is over for the day, mentally shift away from teaching and focus on other aspects of your life. Make self-care non-negotiable by scheduling it into your daily or weekly routine just like you would a homeschool lesson or an appointment. Stay connected with a support network. Homeschooling can sometimes feel isolating, especially if you don't have regular interaction with other parents or friends. Building and maintaining a support network is crucial for your mental and emotional well-being. Whether online or in person, join homeschooling groups where you can connect with other parents. 
Sharing experiences, challenges, and successes with others can provide encouragement and reduce feelings of isolation. Don't hesitate to reach out to friends, family members, or a counselor when you need emotional support. Sometimes just talking through challenges with someone who understands can make a big difference. Incorporate physical activity. Physical activity is a powerful way to relieve stress, improve mood, and boost energy levels. Incorporating regular exercise into your routine can have lasting benefits for both your mental and physical well-being. Exercise with your kids. Turn physical education into a family activity by exercising with your children. Go for a walk, have a dance party, or practice yoga together. Not only does this keep you active, but it also sets a positive example for your kids. Stretch and move throughout the day. If finding time for a full workout is difficult, incorporate simple stretches or short bursts of movement throughout the day to keep your body energized and relaxed. Prioritize rest and sleep. Adequate rest is essential for maintaining mental clarity and emotional stability. Unfortunately, homeschooling parents often sacrifice sleep to complete tasks or plan lessons. Prioritizing sleep and rest will help you stay focused and prevent burnout. Set a bedtime for yourself. Just as your children have a bedtime, set one for yourself. A consistent sleep schedule helps regulate your energy levels and mood. Practice relaxation techniques. Before bed, practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or reading to help wind down and improve sleep quality. Engage in hobbies or creative outlets. Taking time to pursue hobbies or creative activities that you enjoy is a key part of self-care. Hobbies provide a mental break from homeschooling and give you a sense of accomplishment outside of your role as a parent and educator. Dedicate time to a passion, whether it's painting, knitting, gardening, or writing. Dedicate regular time to activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Consider joining a hobby-related class or group. Not only will this give you time to focus on something you love, but it also offers a chance to socialize and meet new people. Practice mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation or deep breathing, can help reduce stress, improve focus, and increase emotional resilience. Even a few minutes of mindfulness each day can have a profound impact on your mental well-being. Start small. Begin with just a few minutes of mindfulness practice each day, focusing on your breath or observing your thoughts without judgment. Incorporate mindfulness into daily activities. You don't need a quiet room to practice mindfulness. Try incorporating it into everyday activities, like mindful walking, mindful eating, or even mindful cleaning. Avoiding burnout, recognizing the signs. Burnout can creep up on homeschooling parents, especially if self-care is neglected for too long. Recognizing the signs of burnout early can help you take action before it becomes overwhelming. Common signs include chronic fatigue, feeling physically and mentally exhausted even after rest, irritability, increased frustration or irritability with your children or homeschool tasks, lack of motivation, a growing lack of enthusiasm or motivation for homeschooling or other responsibilities, physical symptoms, headaches, muscle tension, sleep disturbances, or frequent illnesses. If you notice these signs, it's important to reassess your routine and prioritize self-care. Taking time to rest, seek support, and reconnect with what brings you joy can help prevent long-term burnout. Homeschooling is a demanding but rewarding journey, and self-care is a crucial part of sustaining that journey. By carving out time for yourself, setting boundaries, and seeking support when needed, you can maintain the mental and emotional well-being needed to homeschool effectively. Remember, taking care of yourself is not selfish. It's an essential part of being the best parent and educator you can be for your children. With a balanced approach to self-care, you'll find that you have more energy, patience, and resilience to tackle the challenges of homeschooling while enjoying the process along the way. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching Russell's Loving Life.